Um, this is supplemental problem number um, two. Um, what I did for this problem was I set up this little picture right here. Um, right here. And I have this image over here. And basically the way I set it up was um, I had V. Um, the potential is equal to the Ke over the integral of dq divided by um, what, uh, big R and uh, big R in this case is equal to this orange line right here or any point along this um, between A and B um, for this disk so big R is equal to the square root r squared plus x squared r squared because r is the distance right here from the center to the edge and x is right here and so now what I have is the potential is equal to the ke over the integral of dq divided by the square root r squared plus x squared and uh, for dq, dq is equal to in this case um, it'll be equal to um, the sur surface density and times the area or da and then um, going on further dq will be equal to the surface density times the area which is um, 2 pi Two pi r dr, and so I plug that in for dq, and I have the potential is equal to the kinetic energy, or sorry, not kinetic energy, the um, Coulomb's constant uh, times the integral of um, surface density pi um, times two times r dr square root r squared plus x squared and uh, then I pull out the constants and this is over the integral from a to b so I'll plug in a and b and I take out the constants so the potential is equal to Coulomb's constant times the surface density times pi times 2 and then I have the integral of a to b of r squared plus x squared so negative one half times r dr which is then equal to ke um, all the constants are brought down, pi, 2, and then I have that multiplied with x squared plus b squared to the one half minus x squared plus a squared to the one half and that is the solution to the problem thank you